Gun Hilder's Blade. Um, I just talked to you. I don't need to know what you're up to. All right. Um. Okay, Rogue Quest. Uh, I don't really know anything about that. I'm sure it'll tell me eventually. The Circus Trench. Okay, where is where I start? All right, I'm exactly where I need to be. Thanks, Radovan. It's like you knew which part of the story I was in. All right, so now we're starting the MSQ for real. Good news, Griffin. We have a stroke of luck in our search for that beacon. Oh yeah, thanks for reminding me. Everyone is like sort of dead, but not really. Apparently, our colleagues have stumbled across a hidden path leading down to the hollows of the base of the crystal, crystal tower. Ah, uh, okay. A path I doubt we'd ever have found had the ironworks and the suns added not added their numbers to the party. Thanks to them, we have eager eyes aplenty down there. Checking under rocks and peeing over every rock and cranny still sounds like a lot of ground to cover. I like this new interface here. It makes it, it puts a little more weight into what you're trying to decide here. Even though I don't think there's like much difference, it's just it gives you a different reaction rather than a different outcome. Then we'd better go and give them a hand. Sounds like tedious work, but not as tedious as waiting around, I suppose. You know what? That would be something I would say. I hate waiting around. Exactly so. Uh, I was thinking we should go and lend a hand. The sooner we find this beacon, the sooner you can travel to whatever it is this mysterious voice is coming from. And the sooner, the sooner we can work out how to help our friends. We've had a way to wake up before the empire comes get widowed. Uh, you know, everyone was suggesting that the voice might have belonged to Zodiac, so it's kind of jarring to hear Tataru be very gung ho about it. There's a boat in North Silver Tier waiting to ferry people to the side, so let's be on our way, okay? I really, I really like the Shadowbringers theme. It's just like metal. It's like heavy metal music now. They're always heavy upon me. It's just a little wonder, I suppose, when standing in the shadow of such an imposing structure. Is there a crystal tower? Ooh, yeah, it's pretty big. All right, all right, Tataru, ta ta give me the lowdown. Oh, finally. Voice acting, thank god. Should we get to it then? Pick up anything that seems the least bit device-like and we'll make ourselves a pile. Well, if it isn't the hero of the hour, maybe you'll change our look. We found bugger all without you. Biggs, I haven't heard your voice since Praetorium. Was it Praetorium? Probably. Biggs, Wedge! Aye, aye. Well, we could hardly say no to a call for aid from the Scions. Jesse called it the chief of some other business, so we'll be working twice as hard to make up for his not being here. Thrice as hard, even. Oh, thank you, both of you. I'm sure we'll find that beacon in no time. And Tatara's updated voice always seemed weird to me. Like, back in uh, Realm Reborn, she had a more squeaky, lullaful voice, and now she sounds like an old lady. I'm not seeing anything out here. Do you reckon you could squeeze in there, Wedge? And get stuck halfway? No, thank you. <laughs> I just realized Big sounds like Shrek. <laughs> I could try if you like. Tataru, no! We couldn't ask you to do that. Oh, I'll be fine. This receptionist is not afraid to get her hands dirty. I don't even remember what was the last thing we said. Uh, I just remember people Sorry, I, kept I meant falling to say, over. The scholars haven't finished their preliminary assessment of the site yet, so we're not supposed to venture too far in. Oh, too late. 
I found hmm. something. What's that you got there? Now that looks promising. Uh, isn't that the ironworks symbol? Yeah, that's Counter what I was thinking. It looked like the ironworks thing. Oh uh, no. Now I have you. Oh no. You are right. What's happening? Oh no, someone got me. I got got. Stay with me. Focus on my voice. Dude, just Let chill. Expanse contract. Eon become instant. Wait, this must be it. The device. Oh, this is supposed to happen. Are you sure about that? Throw wide the gates that we may pass. Oh, safe journey, warrior of light. Find our friends and bring them home. But Taro, how are you so sure about this? Even I'm not sure about this. No, I want to see the cutscene. What's going on? Uh, well, I guess I'm flying through space now. Oh, do not no, why'd you show that? <laughs> I don't want to remember that. This is one battle you cannot fight. Away with you, I must say, your spirited accounts always comes in well good peace. We did everything right. Everything that was asked of us, and still, still it came to this. Yeah, whatever happened to that guy? Oh, oh. So what exactly is happening? Am I being astral projected somewhere? Is my body still in yours? Yeah. Your time has not yet come. Huh? Infilia, it's we haven't met for a long time, and that's all you gotta say to me. Uh, well, that is scary. Oh, was that, uh... Oh, uh, I, I forgot his name. Isn't that the Warrior of Darkness? Yeah, that kind of looks like him. <laughs> this is you in a bad mood. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Oh, it burns. Oh god, everything's so bright. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty, but it's too bright. From endless dreams I awake. Something vague, yet urgent, calls me to action once more. Uh... 
Okay. Well, go talk to that man, like the only sign of life in this very pretty area. I hope he doesn't get scared of my quarrel costume. Oh, I didn't know you. Rare to meet someone out here who's not a peddler themselves. What brings you into the wilds this time of night? Y you even speak with the same accent. It's kind of funny. It's night. What do you mean this time of night? But it's bright as freaking day. <laughs> well, if it ain't the oldest joke in the book. My granddad, God's rest his soul, used to tell that one to the barman a kicking out toy. And when, pray tell, did we last have a dark night? You rotten old drunk, ye, he'd reply. Uh, yeah. That would be funny because that would mean that there is no night, but you would have to say night. To... Over a hundred bleeding years ago. That's when. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a long time to not have a night. Hmm. You got that look down to a T. I'd almost think you meant it. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah, that, that, that's a funny joke, yeah? Ah, got to you, did they? Poor beggar. That explains it, then. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not an alcoholic. Look, it's more for you, all right? Don't, don't give me that look. Well, I've roads to travel and wares to sell, but you, you best hurry along to the town nearby. Just head east through the trees and aim for the Shining Tower. You'll find the place soon enough. It is the biggest settlement for miles around. What Shining Tower? Everything is so bright I can't even see Go it. Go on now, friend. They'll take good care of you in the Crystarium. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, this kind of reminds me of, uh, that side story for Advent Children. Like, when the live stream was infected with Sephiroth's genes and, like, all that uh, geostigma was coming out of the planet and killing everyone. To dizzying heights it rises, the gleaming spire, its tip threatening to pierce the blinding canopy. There, it will all begin anew, between dark and light, the pure and the corrupt, the one true struggle. Oh, nice. Alright, I am now nowhere. Can I go back to yours? Yeah? What if I teleport? I can! Huh? Everything is 700. Okay, it's normal, actually. Man, wouldn't it be funny if I went back to Mordoda and Tatar was like, Hey, I thought you left. Where am I? The belt. The forest of the lost shepherd. Thirstless shore. Okay. Ascension. What's this arrow? Uh, chrysanthemum? Chrys is a chrysanthemum? Uh, all right, I'll just go for it then. I, I can't ride my mount? What? No mount available in this location. All right, all right fair enough. Yoshi wanted me to take in the view, so we're gonna hoof it. I cannot cross this line. All right. All right, what is my... Objective here. Head to Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum. Okay, I think I'll follow this uh, road then. 
But the tower is over there. Uh, wait, where's the tower? Oh, oh, okay, it's over there. Okay. Oh, it's above me? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Okay, Yoshi, it is a very pretty place. I do like the purple. I love purple. Every face in this city I know. Yours, I do not. Oh, she has a- she has an accent too, like Fran. They all have the same accent. This is the threshold of the Crystarium, stranger, and I am its gatekeeper. If you would enter, you will answer my questions. From where do you hail? Uh, you ever heard of yours, yeah? Uh, uh... Do I want to say the source? I, I don't know. Um, you know, let's just be honest about it. Do you take me for a fool? No such place exists. How do you know? Have you been around the world? Had you given me an honest answer, I would not have barred your way. We care little here for a person's place of origin. But instead, you chose concealment. And I will not suffer you to pass. I feel like you would have been very aggravated about that answer no matter what I said. That one had eaten. It must have gulped down the whole hand. Ring and all. Uh... No! No! Don't fucking tell me that! Everything alright, Captain? Quite all right, my lord. Just a stray sin eater, and a weak one at that. I see. Weak or not, we should be on the lookout for more. But I see you've met my guest. I will escort her to the Crystarium myself, if you've no objections. Another of your mysterious friends, is it? I should have known. Very well. I'll inform the others your guest is to be given the run of the city. Pray forgive my less than cordial welcome. May the rest of your stay with us be a pleasant one. What was the accent they called it? They Come based it on? I will answer whatever questions you have when we are somewhere more private. I think they said they based France accent on uh was it Icelandic? It was based on Bjork, but I don't really know much about Bjork. Right then, before we plunge into the where's and wherefores, let me first thank you for answering my summons. I had intended to bring you directly to my personal quarters, but I fear my aim was slightly off. Oh, thank God. That you're still able to make the crossing unharmed is a great relief. See, we didn't need to make it awkward, dude. And so, we come to the question of where. The realm in which you now find yourself belongs to one of the 13 reflections or shards. The first, to be precise, even if its inhabitants are largely oblivious to the fact. Hmm, the first. Okay. As to wherefore, 
Having been awarded the rather grandiose title of Crystal Exarch, <laughs> I, in uh, my capacity as caretaker of the Crystarium, thought to seek the aid of you and your companions. Okay. Why are you so tiny? You're like Alphino. Do you have any idea how much trouble you- No, just tell me where the other people are. Ah, that is a question with no simple answer. But all shall be explained in due course, I promise you. Let us begin with the glaring skies up above. Here in the first, the world has been all but consumed by primordial light. Okay. It began a century ago, by this realm's reckoning. A luminous flood swallowing everything in its path. More than nine tenths of this star was lost. Nine tenths? That's a lot of, uh... That was a, that's a lot of, uh, real estate being lost. And the fortunate few who survived are hounded by abominations born of that catastrophe even now. Sin Eaters, we call them. The creature you saw earlier was one such monstrosity. It was to save the first from this menace that I learned to bridge the rift between worlds. That I might call upon the aid of the greatest of heroes. That's a rather lofty title to Though bestow upon me. Though a world of its champion, I had to try. For in saving the first, you would bring salvation to the source as well. Uh-huh. Okay. But what manner of host harangues his guests in the middle of the road? Let us continue our talk within the Crystarium. Okay, he's saying a lot of stuff that I knew already, so I kind of tuned out most of it. Sanctuary for the living in a world all but resigned to oblivion. Each stone was laid with hope, the town itself a symbol, a monument to defiance in the face of death. No would be hero could fail to answer its call. For who among us does not yearn for salvation? Norvrant Christ Christarium. Norvrant is the name of the world, right? Mm. I guess it's the name of the only region that can exist, I suppose. Just like Eorzea is not the name of the star that we're from, it's just a uh, region. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, hold your horses while I pick this, because I need, actually need higher gear. What'd you give me? Deep gold gun blade. See, I've been using this level 61 ever since I got it. And haven't upgraded since. 385. Hey, that is not bad. Uh, hey, that's not bad. That's a pretty cool design. 
Oh, look at the look at the the bunny lady. Oh, she's actually taller than me. Oh no, she isn't. She's pretty much the same size. Okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, here's my gear. Cool. Now, a full and frank discussion in the privacy of my study would seem to be in order. Uh, okay. But I think our conversation would be more meaningful were you first to gain a firmer grasp of the situation here. To that end, I would like to visit a few of the Crusanium civic leaders and glean something of this world in its predicament. You gave me a migraine, made me travel all the way through space, and now you're putting me to work already. As you can see, this path will take you directly to the Aetherite, a convenience which I'm sure you are only too familiar. Being the rightful object of my summoning spell, you should in theory be able to reach all the way back along your Aetheric trail and find a connection in the source, believe it or not. Really? Hmm, do we be able to reach all the way back to your Aetheric trail? Okay. I strongly suggest you complete this tunement before venturing any further. Mm, okay, dude, I will not fail you on that. But I have proven many people wrong. After you've done so, walk up the steps next to the air at the right and head to the left to arrive in the crystalline mean. Find our collective of crafters and gatherers as well as spokeswoman Catalyst, one of the people I should like you to meet. Okay, so that's the area I will probably never go to. Ever. Another is Morin. To reach him and his cabinet of curiosity if you want to avoid the affirmation steps. Take the exit to the left and so we can... Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Curiosity killed the cat group. Okay. The third and final person should meet this braggy. I mean... A man in charge of trade and distribution. Markets. Okay. Seeing each of my colleagues, you'll visit the major districts of the city and hopefully gain a feel for the place. We're simple enough. I I, I don't know. I uh, directions are hard for me. Crystal clear. Ah uh, 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 that's funny. Crystal clear. To the right and down the where now. <laughs> I I, I want to go for this option. No, just be catty. Ah, very good. I can see the layout of Christinum owes more to historic necessity than planning, but I'm sure you'll learn its twists and turns before long. In all honesty, the true challenge may be finding the right way to approach its citizens. As you discovered during your encounter with the captain, the people of this world are unaware of the existence of other stars and will struggle to accept, accept the truth of your origin. That being the case, where they ask once you hail, as they inevitably will, I suggest you claim you share homeland with the crystal exarch. There's an unspoken rule about the peering too deeply into that particular mystery. Hmm. Okay. When you finish making the rounds, pray meet me in a large courtyard in the center of town. Okay. So I remember. Uh, was it Valor that told me that? He said some people were thinking that uh, that guy was actually uh, Garahatia, which was the guy that locked himself in the Crystal Tower. And I uh, suppose that would make a little bit of sense, but then maybe during the time of his uh, being locked up in there, he probably learned how to cross worlds. I don't know. Mm-hmm. It should allow. By focusing your senses, you detect the flow of vastly distinct currents of aether. Your connection to these energies is faint but stable. It should allow you to teleportation to aetherites and sorts. So so that's your explanation for it. You know, I'll take it. it it's all magic, baby. <laughs> <laughs> 